Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we would be understanding a very important scenario or very important lesson that is a part of your lightning web series. So today we would be talking about your design attributes. So for those of you who are new to programming in lightning web components, your design attributes plays a very important role as per the customization point of view if i say that uh, anyone has written extensible code that can be modified as per the needs without going into the direct code okay what does that mean is uh, like uh, for example i am having a i am having a custom text box that displays me the value based upon certain criteria and what is that criteria we would be understanding by this example so what we would be doing here guys i would be uh, in my template i would be having the lightning card and in this card we would be adding some data so i hope this should be visible this is my lightning card I remove the extra things and the title would be working on design attributes and icon name would be uh, I would be having a custom icon that would be by the name custom colon custom 64 uh, or uh, custom 45 actually uh, what is the basic uh, funda behind these your icons is if the icon starts uh, name starts with utility so you would be writing utility okay uh, if it, uh, it start with standard so standard account opportunity as per that okay so now what I would be doing in here is I would be having a heading class so I would be giving this SLDS classes margin around and would be large and in here I would be having a heading okay so in my XML file I would be doing true and I would be exposing my targets so lightning app page record page and home page so I would be uploading this to my org so once this is done going back refreshing the page and go to my home page and in here i would be dragging this component so what is the name of this component is design attributes okay uh, so for those who are not understanding just have a look you would um, be getting what I am I trying to say so see uh, in here uh, heading has come and in the page attributes it hasn't displayed anything and this is the name of our page okay till now we are done with this so let me show you the output is working on design attributes and this is the heading okay now uh, what I would be doing is I would be having my custom heading so now you would say that what is the difference in this so we could all call this from javascript yes you could all call this from javascript but see the main funda is of your api I would be using the api heading is equal to default heading okay so uh, this is my default heading i hope uh, when i would be deploying this uh, this would be uh, default heading only as uh, okay deployed source to work field what happened okay no issues the issues was uh, in my html file only uh, so so I have deployed this to my org. Let me uh, refresh this. So default heading has been there, guys. So anyone could do this. I 
totally agree with you all guys but what if i say that i have i would make this more extensible till now it is dynamic i agree with that you have to go in your code editor and update the code okay i would be making this extensible and how i would be making this extensible is via my target uh, config file so down my targets there is something called target configs okay and in my target configs i would specify my properties so what is my property so let me write a target config and close this and in here I write the targets that would be uh, copying from the record oh no i would be displaying it on my home page of my application so lightning home page okay if you wish to display it on the record page you could uh, use a comma and display that now i would be giving my property a name property name is equal to and what is the name of my property guys uh, what have i made a uh, this as a API. I have I have made this API because I want to access it from my XML file. Okay, name is heading and what is the type of this? This is string guys. Close this. So this is a property tag and saving this and yeah. Okay, deploy this to your org. Now what the change you would see is uh, reload the page and now you would say sir this is the same wait a second and we would be showing you the magic so see guys now if you could see here is my heading value is appeared and this is the default heading that i had wrote in my javascript file so now i could write here is subscribe to program made easy see this has modified in a way that it is now showing me subscribe to programming made easy guys see it is showing me subscribe to programming made easy how this got possible without even uh, writing a single line of code or without even implementing a single lwc class So uh, everything that we uh, made here was possible with the help of our design attributes. So where you could have the advantage of your design attributes. Basically, uh, you could have your design attributes n number of places, guys. Like in the headings, uh, in the heading tags, in your paginations. While we would be uh, working with the paginations, we would be uh, making use of design attributes. So, uh, working more over this design attributes, uh, let us uh, make something of this kind. See, I had opened this opportunity list uh, back then in the starting. So, if you could see this progress bar, guys. So, can you make this uh, on your own? Yes, we could make this, guys. So, how is this is possible is uh, using the lightning progress. Actually, uh, this is given to us pre-built by Salesforce. We were just uh, using the tags, okay? So, I would be using LWC progress indicator. See, I wrote this only and everything happened. And first we would be working with the type path okay let me first explain you what happened this is a lightning progress indicator the current step is is equal to 3 and from where you could get that this is 3 okay so actually the values 1 2 3 4 are your current steps uh, if it had been written a b c or d so your current step would be uh, a b c or d i would be explaining you this this is the type of path that you would be seeing basically this deals with your ui okay and has error okay let me remove this for now because uh, uh, it has no uh, nothing to do with this and the variant is base okay so this is the variant that we would be getting so uh, these are your steps and labels okay so um, guys um, these are your progress steps that uh, what you would see in there so deploying your source to org and going back so 
reloading my page so guys what can i see here is step one hovering over to step three step four and if you could add n number of steps it would be n times so currently since we wrote it as uh, our current step is step three so this was uh, so at this time our execution is on this step uh, basically our phase is over this step okay so it defines this now what you could do is could you modify this code so that uh, it uh, be, uh, becomes dynamic and extensible so yes guys we could do this everything in here so uh, since you are using the lightning progress steps and you are defining the label and the value so basically we are dealing with these two things so these are two things that are important to us so what could be done here is guys uh, i could use the step variable and in my step variable I, I am using this array of object in this I would be having a label and the label is would be uh, like for example say class 1 so value would be and uh, remember it takes string type only so uh, make sure of that uh, so what I would be doing is I would be copying this okay class 2 class 3 class 4 and class 5 and updating the value as 5 4 3 and 2 okay so we have defined our step variable so in my uh, lightning progress indicator uh, I, I hope so guys that I am not going too fast uh, what am I explaining uh, it is all going to your minds so yeah if you find anything or any confusion in between also uh, do comment down below so okay now what we would be doing is we would be iterating over this so yes this is not very difficult so uh, we would be doing template template if true template if true and uh, what it is for steps I hope so okay step uh, it is step only so I would write in updating this to be steps and for each template for each that would be steps for item would be step okay so in here I created a template that would be uh, giving me the values so now I would be uh, using my lightning progress indicator so in here I would be using my lightning progress and I think it's a step and the key would be what would be my key guys uh, key would be my step dot value and what is the value this this is the value you could have the key as label also but I am uh, working with this value because this would be unique so that's why and the key would be this and the label would be uh, step dot label uh, and the value would be step dot value so by this way what we would be doing is uh, we created this lightning progress step so the current step i would be writing this to be step number four okay so let us see what we have created till now guys so pretty cool guys uh, we have created this dynamically but we have to modify this even more so what we would be doing here is guys uh, we would be updating the value in the design attributes so uh, and one thing more starting in the starting we saw the type as base so let me show you how the base UI looks I told you that this is the difference just in the UI so see this is your class 1 2 3 and currently it is in class 4 and then this is for class 5 so this is the uh, base type okay so modifying this as well type uh, type value 
modifying as the current step as current step and 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 okay these two things only current step and the type of value saving this and going in here api uh, current step and see what we uh, gave this value as 1 2 3 4 based on the values so the default value i would be giving to this would be uh, 2 so that uh, it is my wish you could have anything and type value uh, okay type value is your path okay so we added this thing now we have to update the property as well so i have added two new api elements that is with the name current step and uh, type value so the name would be current step and this would be type value and all our string types okay updating this deploying the source to org so okay and this i have done now refreshing and i think i have not given the type value as path okay okay it's path only so yes we can see here edit the page and now guys see the magic what is the magic in here is see heading component is there current step component is there and the type component is there so current step update this to three see yeah it, it got updated type value would be base save this okay and go back see the result so this is how you could make no code from your code approach only so i hope you understood that how we could go from your uh, modularity to uh, more enhanced versions that does not even make uh, use of your code editors okay it completely removes your code editors uh, but you know that these all things are also written in code only so yes code is great so uh, one thing more now uh, some people have a uh, tendency that they might think that if i remove this heading and save this record so uh, will it uh, deploy this uh, to org or not so uh, guys uh, it would give us an error that it does not exist on your component actually uh, these things uh, the heading current step and your type value should be animated with your api variable so if you remove this api now now see what it would do is uh, it would not update at the code why because it would say that it does not exist on the component why because i haven't made this publicly available so uh, these routes could arise and uh, you could have lightning record page as well app page as well so that depends upon you so my basic funda was here to make you aware of how the things work how you could make use of enhanced lwc concept though it was not an enhanced lwc concept um, to say but yes this was a very good example uh, to make reusable components okay so i hope you understood this video and if you have any doubts pertaining to anything for today's video or any previous video do comment down below i would try to reach to you and would provide you a solution so thanks for watching and happy coding then guys